difficult. Now, I have a sense, and I'm not 100% sure, the allegations are pretty serious uh, against the prosecutors in this case. Wood, I know, has done a lot of things that have been questionable, but it's very difficult to get prosecutors removed, is it not? It's very, yeah, it's, uh, whether you're dealing with a prosecutor or a defense attorney or on the civil side, it's, it's very hard to get attorneys removed. Um, you really have to, you know, have done something quite egregious that jeopardizes the criminal defendant's rights substantially in order for a judge to remove that prosecutor. I can't imagine um, what it might be in this case that they, you know, uh, ha have alleged, but clearly it wasn't enough to, to get to that level of, you know, egregiousness uh, and affecting the rights of the criminal defendant. Now, they have yet to sever this trial. That's the one thing I'm keeping my eye on, eyes on here, Krista. Um, this idea that they're going to be tried together, I still say at the end of the day, that's not going to happen here because I still say that the best way for both of them to go is to point the finger at the other. What are your thoughts? They absolutely, I think, will be turning on each other. Um, that is the only way either one of them can survive, and the only way that they can both survive if, is if they do it in separate trials. Um, if they do it in the same trial, the jury is going to find one or both of them accountable. And so th the best way to do that is to sever the trials. Yeah. And